<laughs> One week until graduation. Good morning, everyone. It is May. It is Monday, May 2nd. I can't believe it, but at the end of this week, it's gonna just be one week before graduation. This is the week before graduation week, which is just insane. I can't believe it. I can't believe I've made it this far and that time has passed by so fast. This is gonna be our last long school week because I'm basically almost done with my requirements with things that I need to do in clinic. I still have a couple more things to do, but they're done on the computer or I have to like write some papers, do some treatment plans on the computer basically but not with patients. Today in the afternoon, I'm gonna do a perio maintenance, my last perio maintenance. Can't wait to be done with perio. That will be it for clinic. 5.30, we have this CDA meeting, this like senior meeting. I have to look at the details, but I believe they're gonna talk to us about insurance, like disability and life insurance after graduation, I believe. We'll see, but I'm gonna attend that. It's on Zoom. It's gonna be a good day. Hey guys, I just got home. What a long day. It's 6.30 p.m. I didn't even have a chance to vlog earlier because I was just running around doing things. So in the afternoon, I did the perio maintenance. Thankfully, it was my last perio maintenance ever. That means that I completed my perio requirements today, so very exciting. Uh, right after that perio maintenance, I logged on to this CDA TDIC meeting on Zoom. It was a meeting for seniors talking about insurance, malpractice insurance, disability insurance. While doing the meeting, I went to the gym and I did the Stairmaster for 10 minutes, just listening to the Zoom meeting. Now I'm back home and I'm gonna go walk my dog, have some dinner, shower, and I have some schoolwork to do, so I'm gonna do that. Hey guys, I just got to mobile clinic. It's Tuesday. I'm volunteering at mobile for half the day today, most likely. I asked to leave early and they're usually very strict about that, but I have to deliver a denture at 1 p.m. today, so we'll see how that goes. I might leave early and then come back. We'll see, or I might just do a half day. Hey guys, so what a day. I just got done at school, so I ended up coming back to school to deliver my denture. Thankfully, it all went well. It's about 3 p.m. right now. I'm glad I got that denture delivered. Now, next week, I'm just gonna do that tissue check and we'll be done with the removable requirement. I'm gonna head back to mobile clinic because I said I would come back. I'm hoping they still have things to do or else then I would just be driving over there for not that much stuff. But I said I would come back, so I feel bad not coming back. So I'm gonna head back to mobile clinic. In the morning at mobile, I actually did do quite a lot. I did a class two on number 20 and it came out pretty good. And then I also did an, an MOD on number 18 and an MOD on number 19, but I didn't get to finish because I had to come back to school. So luckily my classmate, Alan, finished up those restorations for me at mobile. I was so lucky with that because those are humongous cavities. That's the great thing about mobile. You get to practice a lot. Like you get to see really huge, cavities that you don't see at school really. So yeah, I'm gonna go back there and then tomorrow I have a bunch of stuff to do and then it's just gonna be one more week before graduation. We just finished here in our trailer, Jasmine and I and Maria. It's like seven. I'm gonna go outside because I'm wearing a mask here and it's not that nice, but it's really pretty outside because the sun is setting. So let me show you. So we just finished, uh, it's seven. The sun is setting and it looks so nice. This is what mobile looks like. So I'm super happy I ended up coming back because there was patients at five and I got to do something and it feels good doing stuff, especially since I'm about to graduate. I did a class two on I believe number 30, number 30, and I was pretty proud of it because usually I have a hard time like fixing the excess and I thought I did a good job today. So that makes me happy because I'm about to graduate. Now we are gonna clean up. Usually mobile ends around 8.30. Well, whenever we're done cleaning, we're done seeing patients. So that's good. That's all. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. 
I shadowed Dr. Kawakami this morning at her orthodontics office and now I'm about to head to school because I'm going to assist in perio. I'm assisting in perio because at school we have two perio assist rotations where you assist the grad perio residents and my rotation that I had this trimester it got canceled and they said they were going to reschedule it but it never got rescheduled and I got a missing grade for my rotation section so I'm just going to go today make it up I'm also gonna do that on Friday because you actually need to assist a full day and then a half day and then write like an essay, a couple other things, but I'm gonna do that today because I need to finish my requirements and get out of here. It's so crazy to think that I'm graduating next week, like literally on Friday of next week. Ah, so insane. Yesterday, I didn't get out until I left mobile around 8 p.m. And yeah, mobile is fun, but it's very tiring. It's a lot of hard work. I'll be at mobile all day tomorrow, and then I'll be assisting in grad perio all day Friday. Hey guys, so I just got done with my day. It's almost 6 p.m. I assisted in grad perio. I assisted a crown lengthening procedure on number 30. The resident opened up a flap and did the crown lengthening. So what crown lengthening is, it's removing some bone in order to make more room for a restoration. And the reason that we do this is because if there is not enough room between the bone and the restoration, let's say the crown that's gonna be placed on the tooth, then it invades the biologic width. And if the biologic width is invaded, then inflammation, then you can get inflammation and uh, it's not good the tooth will get the tooth and the gums will get aggravated so yeah that's why you do the crown lengthening procedure okay so after I assisted in grad perio after the crown lengthening procedure it was around 5 maybe like 4 30 no it's probably around 4 30 because then I decided to go to the pediatrics clinic and talk to Dr. Jinx because I still need to do four more treatment plans and a pulpotomy SSC stainless steel crown to graduate as part of my graduation requirements. So I ended up just doing four treatment plans there at the pediatric clinic. I did them on paper. There's like a booklet of like treatment plans. And since there's not enough pediatric patients that we can see to treatment plan in order to graduate, we can just do them on paper. So I got those out of the way and she sent a message to Dr. Beal asking if, there, if there's any pull best SEs for tomorrow at mobile clinic then I can do them tomorrow. Hopefully we find me one because as soon as I finish that, I'll be done with my pediatric requirements. So that will be nice. If not, then I'll have to come back to school probably on Monday or Tuesday, sometime next week to do the pulpotomy SSC on a type and on tooth because that's what they're having us do in order to get our experience to graduate. So I think I'm doing a GPR. Good morning, it is seven in the morning on Thursday. I am so tired. Today is one of those days where I just woke up and immediately I just wanted to cry because I wanted to go back to sleep so badly, but I can't and I shouldn't. So I'm here at mobile clinic. I'm excited to be here even though I'm super tired. As soon as I finish drinking my coffee, I'll feel better. I'm gonna be here all day. It's the last mobile clinic ever because next week is graduation. Let's make it a good day. Hi guys, I just got done with morning appointment. I had one morning appointment. I saw my patient at eight and finished at around 11, I wanna say. It took a lot longer than I thought it would, but it was a big cavity. I did number 13 MOD with indirect pulp capping and number 14 MO. It, it was really big, but it turned out really nice. Filled it with composite polished it, there was contact. Yeah, now I'm waiting for the next patients. There's patients at 10, but those are all taken right now. So the next set of patients are gonna come at 12. So I have some free time. Hey guys, I'm back home now and what a day. 
It's 5.30, we finished mobile clinic early today. Usually on the last day on Thursday, we finish seeing the last patients at around 3 p.m. and then we break everything down. Usually the breaking down part takes a long time and then usually we have a post session to talk about how the week went and it's great. But what a day, you guys. My morning started off like not the best in the very, very early morning because first of all, I couldn't sleep last night because my shoulder was hurting. So I barely got any sleep. And then in the morning it was still hurting. So then I went to mobile clinic and I was thinking, how the heck am I gonna do anything? Cause my shoulder hurts, so I can't put my arm up, but at least I can use my hand. Somehow it went away. As soon as I got to mobile clinic, there's just like mobile clinic energy and everyone is there to do work and to do good for the community. So I ended up having a great day. I'm so happy I went. I'm so happy I went to the last mobile clinic rotation ever because I'll be graduating next week. I feel good. I got to practice a lot more. Now I'm home. I'm going to go walk my dog. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow I'm going to assist in perio all day. Oh, let me tell you what I did. I just did a bunch of sealants in the afternoon, but I had the sweetest, sweetest patient. This patient was so smart and asked me like the most curious questions. It reminded me kind of of how I used to be when I was younger. So that was nice. I hope to come back somehow i mean i am going to go to pennsylvania for my gpr but then in the future i hope to come back because it is nice hey guys it is friday i can't believe it is the last friday before graduation next week is graduation i can't believe it ah i get nauseous just thinking about it i just cannot believe it's one week away i just got to school it's 8 a.m I'm gonna assist in perio this morning all day. At lunchtime, we're gonna have a little lunch with our treatment coordinator and the rest of our group practice at the village. I'm done with my last Friday of dental school. I can't believe it. So in the afternoon, I assisted in grad perio again. We did osseous surgery of the upper right. It was a super long procedure. I'm so happy I'm done and I don't have to be there anymore because it was very tiring. At lunchtime, we had lunch picture. Well, I had lunch with my group practice and we took a group picture with our treatment coordinator, Alex. Thank you so much for everything you did for us this year and last year. This is our group practice. Probably the last time we're all gonna be together. Not everyone is here. Hi. <laughs> All right, let's see. What you guys Group know? practice B. <laughs> Thank you for everything. <gasps> Is it picture free? Yeah. Oh my god, for our, oh god. For our picture. Yes. yes. That we need to take. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck yeah. So That's awesome. We so originally wanted to have the picture and already did it, but like... Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 this is awesome. I love it. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay. Oh what was your favorite thing about dental school? My favorite part about dental school was sim lab. Volunteering at all of the community dental clinics. Getting to know my patients. <laughs> Definitely my experience with the mobile clinics. My patients were amazing and some of them would tell me their stories about their lives. Getting to work with talented and helpful faculty. We were able to go to so many different small communities that needed our help so much and it was so rewarding to meet different people and give back. I just love hearing about how I can improve people's lives and people's health. But also I absolutely loved going through the whole process with my dental school class and my friends. It made it so special to bond over all of the ups and downs and I'm definitely going to remember all the memories for a lifetime. It is the day before graduation. I can't believe it. We are just taking graduation photos. This is what a graduate kind of looks like. Taylor and I are here. Woo! <laughs> I can't believe we're graduating tomorrow. I'm gonna miss my friends from dental school the most. <laughs> we're gonna miss you, Erica. Oh, I'm gonna miss you too.